Let's start lesson 13 Natural Calamities Learning Objectives What are volcanoes? What is an earthquake? What is flood? Let's start learning. Sometimes we see some events occurring in nature are very hazards and cause great loss to life and property. Such events are called natural disasters or natural calamities. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and floods are some examples of such calamities. What are volcanoes? A volcano is the opening on the surface of earth having a crater or vent through which lava, rock fragments, hot vapor and gases are erupted. When rocks beneath the earth's surface gets really hot, it becomes molten or liquid. While it's still below the surface, it's called magma. This magma rushes out through a vertical tunnel called vent and flows out through crater at top. When the magma comes at the earth's surface, it is known as lava. Lava can be very hot sometimes as hot as 10,000 degrees Celsius. Eventually, lava on the surface will stop flowing and cool and harden into rocks. A volcano can be active, dormant or extinct. An active volcano is one that has recently erupted or is currently erupting. Mount Eruption Mount Etna For the teacher Explain the children about various types of volcanoes. Also tell them about earthquakes and floods. Mount Etna and Mount Fuji are the examples of active volcanoes. A dormant volcano is one that hasn't erupted for a long time, but has the potential to still erupt. Volcanoes that stopped erupting are called extinct volcanoes. Types of volcanoes We usually think of volcanoes as tall mountains in the shape of a cone. However, there are different types of volcanoes. Cinder cones These are volcanoes formed from particles of lava ejected from a single vent at the top. They generally don't get taller than around 1000 feet. Composite volcanoes These volcanoes are also shaped like a cone but are formed from layers of lava over many years. They can grow into huge mountains over 8000 feet tall from their base. Shield volcanoes They form from white thin layers of lava that eventually are shaped like a shield. Lava domes these are formed by thick lava that hardens right around the vent. They can sometimes form inside of other types of volcanoes. Cinder cones, composite volcanoes, shield volcanoes, lava domes. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is a shaking of the ground caused by the sudden breaking and movement of large sections tectonic plates of the earth's rocky outermost crust. Earth's upper layer crust is made of many rock masses called plates. These plates are constantly moving. They move apart, collide or slide against each other. However, at times, this movement results in release of energy in the form of shock waves. These shock waves cause the earthquake. Destruction of earthquake The point inside the earth where shock waves are produced is called the focus and the area on the earth's surface just above the focus is known as epicenter. How we measure earthquakes? We measure the earthquake with the help of an instrument called seismograph. It detects direction, intensity and duration of earthquake. The intensity of earthquake is measured on Richter scale starts from magnitude 1 and upwards. The weakest earthquakes are close to 1 on the scale and the strongest measure about 9. Fault scrap, epicenter, focus, wave fronts, fault, epicenter and focus. Effects of Earthquake Earthquake is a natural phenomenon that can happen anytime. An earthquake can cause major damage to life and property. The damage depends on the strength and kinds of the wave produced. High intensity earthquake causes huge destruction. Buildings collapse, roads and bridges get damaged and trees get uprooted. Earthquake produced undersea is known as tsunami which causes great destruction in coastal areas. What is Flood? A flood is an overflow of water that submerges land which is usually dry. Floods are the most common natural disaster. They are very common in many places which receive heavy rainfall. Floods are caused by 1. Heavy and continuous rainfall which increases the water level of rivers. 2. Melting of snow in summer which causes river to overflow. 3. Collapse of dam due to which excess of water flows in nearby areas. In coastal areas, 
Floods are also caused by sea storms or cyclones. Floods Flooding is extremely dangerous and has the potential to wipe away an entire city, coastline or area and cause extensive damage to life and property. Let's revise. A volcano is an opening in the earth's crust through which hot liquid rock from deep within the earth called magma comes out. A volcano can be active, dormant or extinct. Earthquake is sudden shaking of earth's surface due to the movement of huge mass of rock inside the earth. When a large amount of water enters in land areas, it is known as flood. Points to remember Volcano An opening in the surface of the earth through which gases and molten rocks are forced out into the air or have been in the past. Earthquake Vibrations in the earth's surface. Flood Excess water flowing in land areas.